In this presentation, we are going to see how to use ActiveHDL's Library Manager to create and manage your own libraries. Also, we will see how to use pre-compiled FPGA vendor libraries. Let's start by opening a sample design. Once you open the sample design, you can see your local library inside the design browser. To open the library manager, click the View Library Manager button. Inside the library manager, you can sort the library by pressing the columns. To view the contents of the library, click on any one of the libraries. You can see the content in the right context menu. To attach a new FPGA vendor library, click on the Attach Library button and then you can select the library that you want to attach by selecting the .lib file. Once the library has been attached, it will be attached as a local library. You can select right click and set it as global to make it a global library. In order to create a new library, click on the new library button. This will open the new library wizard. Type in the library name that you want to create. You can either create an empty library or you can add some files in order to compile them into the library. Select the files that you want to compile. click next and finish. The tool automatically creates the library and also compiles the selected files into that library. Now let's take a look at the library's right click menu options. You can make a library global. You can add the symbols contained in this library to the symbols toolbox. You can rename the library. You can also compact the library in order to make the size of the library smaller on the hard disk. You can delete the simulation data from the library. This will only delete the simulation data and does not delete any symbols inside the library. If you want to delete the symbols, you can click on empty and select delete all. You can detach a library. By doing this, you will remove the library from the library manager, but the contents and the library is not deleted from the hard disk. In order to delete the library, click on delete. This will delete the library, its contents and also remove it from the library manager. Refresh library can be used in order to recompile a library if any changes are made to the contents. You can select read only in order to prevent accidental modifications to the library. Select import symbols in order to import symbols into this library. You can select export symbols in order to export symbols from this library. To copy symbols from this library to a destination library, select copy symbols. Now let us look at the right click options of the library objects. If the library object is a source file, you can right click and select view source text to view the source code of that object. If the object is a block diagram, you can select view source diagram in order to view the diagram. You can copy the declaration of that particular object and you can paste it inside a VHDL source file. You can also copy the VHDL instantiation and paste it inside the VHDL file. In the same way, you can also copy Verilog and systemc instantiations and paste them in the corresponding files. Right now you can see that the delete object is not highlighted. This is because we have marked the library as read only. In order to delete any items, we can modify it to read write and then we can delete any object from the library. To find objects, we can use the find button. Export symbols would export the selected symbols or objects. Copy symbols will copy the selected symbols from this library to a destination library. Thank you for watching our presentation.